Well, what's going on, weirdos? Oh, my lord. That is loud. We're going to drop that mic down just a little bit. Give me a thumbs up if I've got good audio. Let me know if I've got good audio. I just put this headset on. I moved the mic around a little bit. Thumbs up if it's good. Thumbs down if it's a little too loud. Let me know. I don't want to be screaming in this thing and then blowing out people's eardrums. I don't want to be blowing anything out except your mom's back. That's what I want to do. Thumbs up. We're good. We're all looking good. All right. Outstanding. We're starting strong here today. But listen, I know you can read. Okay. I know that you're my... I know you're all my little weirdos. I know you can read. Oh, people are saying louder? Well, you know, turn up the volume on your own shit. How about that? There we go. I've got it maxed out. Ah! How about that? We're doing that now? All right. I'll just I'll just talk louder. How about that? We're all going to talk a little bit louder. Weirdos. My beautiful little weirdos. I'm sure you've seen the news that one of our troops has defected. What's up, Monger? I'm sure you've seen the news that our troops have... One of our troops have defected to North Korea. And that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. It's been a long time since a United States soldier, troop, military member has defected to North Korea. Let's turn this music down a little bit. A little bit. I want some in the background. I just don't want it all. I want it all. I don't think I, don't think I can. Let's see if I can make this. Let's see if I can make the music a little bit softer. Come on, baby. Little softer music. All right, we're just going to leave it on. I'm tired of messing around with this shit anyway. All right. It's been a while since the United States troop has defected to North Korea, and we're going to talk about that today. It's very important that we talk about that today. Because you know what? Who, who else is going to talk about that? I know that like CNN, it's like a big buzz in the world right now, but this is a military channel, right? We're talking about military shenanigans. Why wouldn't we then talk about the weirdo that crossed into North Korea? I've heard some stories. I've seen some things. Uh, I've read a, a little bit about it in the news. I think I'm medium educated on the scenario, but I wanted to not read too far into it. I wanted to save a little bit for, the, uh, for this live stream. for a bunch of weirdos that are here watching this right now. But before we get into the nitty gritty of the soldier that went into North Korea, a fantastic sponsor, Grill Your Ass Off, has a better than crack gunpowder steak seasoning. Now, I've used the gunpowder seasoning before, and him and I, the owner is a veteran and friend of mine. We decided to collab and make a better than crack, this old crack house spice, special just for you and I. I'm going to put a link in the description below when this is all over so that you can go to grillyourassoff.com and get yourself some fantastic crack. Better than crack. Better than crack. Spice. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, too. You got steak seasoning. I mean, I use that for brisket. It's amazing on brisket. You can, they got chicken. They've got seafood. They've got spicy habanero shenanigans. They've got smoked salt, which is absolutely delicious. You want to just make it a, a steak uh, you know, with some butter, and you put it on the flat iron. Put a little bit of that smoked salt in there. Mm, delicious. All right. Let's look at this top chat. David R. personally would have taken my chances with the court martial over North Korea. That's right. From the stories that I've read about this soldier that is defected to North Korea, I'll give you the gist of what I know right now. And then we're going to deep dive. We're at deep dive. We're going to deep dive into it together. Dive deep into it together. Whatever. Dive deep, deep dive. We're going to do a deep dive. We're going to dive, dive, deep, deep. Into this soldier in North Korea. Mm, there, that could be worded better, but I'm, I'm going to leave it in there. I'm going to leave it in there. Fuck it, we're doing it live, right? My understanding right now, reading the different news articles about the soldier that defected to North Korea, is this. He got in a fight in South Korea. There's military units all over South Korea ever since the Korean War and the demilitarized zone, the DMZ, that's the line between North and South Korea. Ever since that line was been created, and the Korean War has been in a ceasefire. It's still technically, we're still technically at war with North Korea. It's just a ceasefire, if I'm not mistaken. Everybody always talks about that. We're not, we're technically not done with it yet. It's just a ceasefire. So, 
ever since then, United States troops have been stationed in South Korea. And often troops get their their orders to go over there for a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, active duty components. There's a lot of training events too with Marines and Air Force, etc. It's a good time. Now, this young man was stationed in South Korea. He had joined the army in 2001. So at, at a maximum, he's got two years in, most likely less than that. He goes over to South Korea for his unit for his deployment to South Korea. I'm not sure how long that was. And gets in a fight, a little bar fight. Hey, that happens, all right? Not the biggest of deal, but gets in a bar fight, beats the crap out of some cat in South Korea. Police, South Korean police come, they show up, they grab him, they put him in the back of the car. He is screaming and being a not-so-nice guy, saying bad things about the Koreans. I don't like you, you stink, I hate this place, etc. Throw him in the back of the police car there in South Korea. And he starts kicking out the door, starts just beating the crap out of the car, so much so that he damages the door. Now, it, it says that he damages the door and he damages a portion of the vehicle for the South Korean police. And boy, have, if I've not seen it once, I've seen it a dozen times, where people get upset in the back of the car and they think, you know what I can do? I can just kick the living crap out of the back of this car and that I'm, I'm going to show them that I'm upset. And then there you go. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Beep, boop, beep. I'm so sad. Me, me, me. Look at me. So they end up kicking the crap out of the back of the door. I assume that that's what he did. Not sure, but... Oh, you damage a door. I'm sure you were kicking the crap out of the door while you're laying back, you know, on your can cut on your handcuffs. They, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they kept him in custody for 45 days. Either the United States Army did, they, you know, locked him up in the break for 45 days, or it was a South Korean jail. They kept him there for 45 days to do his stint for the assault on the individual at the bar and for jacking up the South Korean police's car. Gets out of the brig or the police station's lockup area, and they take him, by they, I mean the United States Army, they escort him to a, an airport where he's supposed to go back on the plane and face disciplinary actions back at Fort Bliss, if I'm not mistaken, in Texas. Now, it doesn't say that he's going to be kicked out. It just says disciplinary action. I'm not sure if this warrants, uh, hey, get kicked out of the Army, but it's definitely going to get some disciplinary action. So that's what he was going to get. He's going to get some disciplinary action back at Fort Bliss, Texas. But instead of getting on that plane, see, his escorts just took him to the airport and said, all right, cool, man, you're dropped off. Uh, there you go. Just make your flight. Have a nice day. Which is whatever. I, okay, you know, you're not going back to jail over there. They're just saying you just got to deal with your shit when you get there. He decides that he's going to not go on that flight, not go on that flight at all. He is going to go on a tour of the DMZ with a bunch of people. I forget from where, but he goes on a tour. Uh, with a bunch of people that are going to the DMZ, the demilitarized zone. You, it, it's the iconic area where there's like the blue buildings and there's the line in between the gravel of North and South Korea. It's where they meet for meetings and stuff like that. And you see all the, you know, the guards posted up there just staring at each other to make sure that nobody crosses the line. It's very theatrical, but kind of cool at the same time, right? And he just makes a, he jets for it. Just jets from South Korea side going to the North Korea side. And it's, I don't want to say unconfirmed, but there are some sources in the news that stated he was yelling, ha, 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 ha. You know, uh, not laughing, but like kind of poking fun at the military, you know, the U.S. military that's over there. You know, ha, 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 I'm sure, you know, na, 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 poop, poop. Runs across the border to North Korea and is detained by North, duh. Duh, detained by North Korean soldiers. Now, from what I understand, he is in custody with the North Koreans, but there has been zero, count it, zero talk back and forth via North Korea, South Korea, North Korea, United States in regards to this soldier. Hey, what do you do with our guy? Uh, hey, when are you getting him back? Hey, listen, the guy's a turd. He's not a spy. We just like him back for disciplinary actions. And we can, we can go over why they probably won't give him back right away. But we can go over what they're going to do 
with him while he's there uh, a little bit later. Um, I'm, torture? Nah, probably not. Propaganda? Yeah, I think I think that's a dead on. I think there's definitely going to be some sort of propaganda utilized here. If there isn't, then this is just not the North Korea that we're used to, right? We're actually expecting North Korea to make some sort of propaganda off of this. And I'm not going to lie. I look forward to seeing it. I, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. Um, I mean, it's propaganda for North Korea, definitely against us. Uh, but I mean, I wonder how funny it's going to be. I wonder how absolutely ridiculous, how over the top, how crazy it's going to be. Because in a selfish way, I really want to make fun of it. I would really love to like make a video just ripping on it and blue screening, green screening myself in there. Just absolutely pooping all over the North Korean propaganda. Let's, before we get into the, uh, whatchamacallit, it's the, the story and reading a little bit more into it. Uh, let's, let's look at some of these super chats here. What's going on over here? Wesley Hoke, why would he not stand NJP prior to shipping stateside for discharge? I don't know. That's a, that, I mean, that's a good question. If you're, you're obviously a moron. I'm going to call this kid dumb. This kid is dumb. His, his parents raised an idiot. Uh, you only have, he's, he barely get, he's barely got two years in. There's no way he's got two years in. Maybe. Like, I bet you he graduated, like, late 2001. You know, like, he probably, probably, well, you think he's, like, 19, right? He probably joined during the summer surge, right? You know, to went in June, July, August. Went to, he's a Cav Scout, 19 Delta. Uh, went to basic. Went to AIT, his advanced individual training. Could be OSID because he's, it's, you know, it, I mean, it's not infantry, it's cavalry. But you know what I mean. It's combat arms. So, he was probably done in 14 to 18 weeks, right? So that means that he graduated boot camp probably in October, November. Let's say autumn, right? Late autumn, early winter. Let's, let's, just, say, let's just say Thanksgiving, right? Halloween. Thanksgiving, Halloween time. He graduates. We're assuming. So that means a year and a half. He's been in for a year and a half about that time. That's my estimate, right? He's, he's going towards two years, but he hasn't hit it yet. How much of a turd do you have to be to think that, you know what is way better than me getting a little slap on the wrist or being, let's say, worst case scenario, he's kicked out of the army, right? He's just there. Hey, listen, man, administrative discharge uh, other than honorable. You know, we'll keep it simple, right? We're not going to do dishonorable discharge. We'll keep it other than honorable. Right? So you don't totally don't screw you over. Uh, it, that's the worst. That's the worst that could happen. You already did the jail time. Right? They're going to kick you out. That's the worst. Lightest, the best case scenario here is that you, 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 stay, you stay in and you get your pee-pee smacked a little bit. Right? A little bit of, little bit of pee-pee. Little, little, pull out your pee-pee. A little bit of smack. Right? Put your dick in the toilet seat. Bam! You know, one time just to let you know what's up. Right? You got to do... I don't know, duty for a month. You, you get half a month's pay, right, for 30 days. But let's keep going through these, uh, these chats. Uh, let's see. Night Stalker. Thanks for the videos over the years. Always interesting. Intesting. <laughs> interesting. And your guys' thoughts. Great work. Like in, in Australia. Too cool, man. Glad you like me. <laughs> Glorious leader has liberated U.S. soldier from Western tyranny. Truly a sign of his benevolence and proof that their ideology and government has failed. I, I hope somebody takes this from, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, takes this from Reddit or something, or rips this from YouTube and actually puts some little, like, you know, Asian character. A glorious leader has liberated U.S. soldier from Western tyranny. Truly, a sign of his benevolence and proof that their ideology and government has failed. <laughs> ooh, ooh. So, I don't know. I know it was like Japanese. It's not Korean, but you, you get it, right? Fearless leader. Let's see. Powers of All says, would... Would his defecting be considered treason? Treason would have to be you intentionally undermining the United States in some way, shape, or form, right? He's, he's just leaving. He is, it's like a dereliction duty, right? All right. We've hit the Super Chats. We've talked a little bit about this guy. Let's, let's dive in to the story, right? Let's, let's dive into this story. This is what happens when an idiot overthinks what will happen to him. Yes, Commander Lizard. Yes. This is exactly what an idiot does when he overthinks an issue. Where is your brain, man? Where is your brain going? Will you say, you know what I should do? 
I should go defect and not even defect to like Italy or some other, I don't know, Croatia, somebody who doesn't like us. North Korea? North Korea! You decided that your best course of action, instead of going home and dealing with the smack PP, is you just, you're gonna go to North Korea? North Korea! Ugh! Brother, you know that they're starving people. The, the last guy that defected to North Korea, he's like kind of fat and he's got like this ugly haircut. He, they like use him for propaganda all the time. His teeth are so yellow from dirty cigarettes that he looks like he chews on rocks for fun. And he's like the only fat guy other than Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-il. Il's the one, gosh, all the Kim Jongs. Kim Jong-il, I think, is the one in charge. Kim Jong-un was his dad. Oh, Oh, chat, help me out here. Is it Kim Jong-il right now? Kim Jong-il. Would he now be a POW or a wall? Technically, that's a really good question, Chris. Technically, I, I think he would be a POW because this is a ceasefire. It's still, we're still technically in battle with him. Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-il was his dad. Kim Jong-un is now. Okay, cool. Thank you. Way to go, chat. Listen, I need you. All right, listen, I'm not always right. But I'm never wrong yes i'm never not right but i'm never wrong i'm sometimes not right but i'm never wrong there we go i'm sometimes not right but i'm never wrong write that down make them do a t-shirt korean barbecue pokey bait yep athlon elite for ocs good luck nice infantry officer Ooh. all right let's go to let's go to a screen and screen Gosh dang, idiot. There we go. All right, let's get this thing going. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Window capture. Scoot doop doo 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 doo. Boom. Boom. Ugh! <laughs> well, that is a. Uh, that's new. We'll just. 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 Be, we're just going to ignore this. We're going to ignore this right here. What's going on? What's going on? Please move. Please go away. Oh, look at my handsome man, Caleb, doing living some heavyweights. All right, that's not what we're looking at, though, right now. How much is that? 615? Animal. Go.com? Okay, let's go, to, let's go to NBC. Let's see what NBC is saying about our guy. Let's see what NBC is saying about our guy. Okay, yeah, journalism. I'm sure, yeah, you're great. Adblock Plus? I don't... Oh, God, I just want to read a thing. I just want to read a thing. Oh, look at this. His, is this his folks? Oh, his poor father, grandfather, male individual. Oh, New York Times. Oh, you're going to put me in a paywall too, aren't you? You're going to do it. I know you're going to do it. CNN won't do it, even though they're weird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know you love those jerks. Get away. Do, 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 do. Soldier Private Travis T. King was supposed to be on a plane in the United States, but instead he joined a group tour of the DMZ. Then he bolted for the border. I kind of like that. That, that. The bees, right? And, and then the soldier private Travis T. King was supposed to be on a plane to the United States, but instead he joined a group tour of the DMZ. Then he bolted for the border. Like an action movie guy. Like you could make an action movie out of that. Bolting for the border starring private Travis T. King. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. The world was shocked Tuesday. Of course it was. The United States soldier willing to flee and illegally. Oh, really? He gave a shit about illegally? Fucking. I mean, I, yeah, technically you're right. Okay. He, I, all right. I, I'm nitpicking here. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm nitpicking. Across the inter-Korean border during group tour of the demilitarized zone, DMZ, becoming the latest American citizen to be held in custody by North Korea. The executive remains unknown. Said they're working with their North Korean counterparts to have him released. North Korea has yet to issue a statement on the incident. The United States has no diplomatic ties with North Korea and technically remains at war. There we go. See, technically remains at war with the isolated Communist Party. That means that he will get a POW ribbon when he, re when, if he returns. Isn't that shitty? The POW ribbon is supposed to like be given to individuals that are captured, probably put through some of the most horrific things. Like I think Vietnam, right? And like Bo Bergdahl, was he a snitch or was he the one that ran out? I think Bergdahl was the one that ran, right? Uh, or was, yeah, Bo Bergdahl was the one that ran in Afghanistan. He gets a POW ribbon because he was captured, even though he did it intentionally. Uh, 
Jeremy Scott says, guess Danny didn't discipline him enough as a kid, right? What a chode. He ran in North Korea to sell some vapes because that's where the money's at. I need to get like a little boop button that says that's where the money's at. That's a great sound effect. Uh, technically reigns war. If Private King defected, he would be the first American armed service person. God, you could have said that better. Military service member. To do so since the early 1980s. Here's what to know. Here's, here's what to know. Here's what you need to know. Here's what to know. Man, it's, it's, I know it's probably correct English, but it still sounds like trash. James asks, will your content ever serve with any Navy petty officers? Ooh, um, yes. First tour in Iraq. And then my second tour was with the chief and Navy chief and a corpsman. I think he was an E6. I think the corpsman was an E6. I'm not sure what your Navy rank is. It's freaking weird. Adam, North Korea version of a chain gang is a wire finished through the collarbone. Oh, is a wire? Ugh. The North Korean version of a chain gang is a wire fished through your collarbone attaching you to a bunch of other poor sods. Imagine what they're going to do to American soldier slash criminal who happens to be black since the North Korean are racist to boot. I heard that. I've heard that. Adam, you brought up an interesting point. I wasn't going to touch on it because I felt like it was a, a sore subject and I wasn't sure if it was what I heard and I didn't really put any time into Google it. I should probably look it up, but I have heard that North Koreans are... I don't want to say paint them in with a broad rust, brush and say that they're all racist, but I have heard that they lean negatively towards um, African Americans, Africans, individuals with, you know, darker skin. I have heard that. We'll have to Google that up and, and see what's going on. North Koreans are going to put them to work struggling human fertilizer. Yeah, that's, I wouldn't be surprised. Private King, who is Travis King? Private King, 23. 23? How dumb are you at 23? Did you get any brain cells kicked in your... Private King, 23, joined the Army in 2021. January 2021. All right, so that's when he joined. That's when he signed up. We don't know when he went actually through basic training and then got uh, attached to his unit. Maybe. We'll see. Went on to become a Cavalry Scout. First Brigade Combat Team. First Armored Division. Army confirmed in a statement members of the Brigade. Began arriving in South Korea in late February 22. All right. So let's say that he got in Korea in late February 22. So he's been there for over a year. It doesn't say he was, just as the unit. His awards include <laughs> the Natty D, baby. The National Defense Ribbon. The Korean Defense Service Medal and Overseas Service Ribbon. Land. I remember he ran into trouble. October? Last October? It's been that long? Ran into trouble in South Korea after an altercation with locals where he damaged the police car. According to South Korea and police special. When his brigade returned to the United States, Private King was forced to stay behind in South Korea and ministerially attached to another unit, 2nd Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division. Spent time in South Korea in jail, okay, on the assault charges, and was supposed to be on a plane earlier this week to Fort Bliss, Texas, to face disciplinary actions in the United States. Was he in jail since? Not since February, right? Police car, doesn't say when he was arrested, blah, 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 4th Infantry. Okay, let's see when he was arrested. Um, do, do, do. He was escorted uh, to Incheon International Airport's military escorts were unable to stay with him past the security screening point. Makes sense. According to an Army official, our official familiar with the situation, he was not authorized to speak on the record, but instead boarding the plane. Uh, he joined the group tour to joint security area where he instead, which is inside the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas, and is commonly known as Pan Moon Jam? Pan Moon Jam? Is that right? I, I, listen, I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know if I said that correctly. It remained unclear how Mr. King managed to leave the airport. Well, he probably just went right back out the security. Like, what do you mean unclear? If, he's, if the security can't go past, if his escort can't go past the security gates, he just went into the security gates, went to his gate, and then looked around and said, yeah, I'm going to leave now. Matthew Miller, State Department spokesman, said that in a news conference on Wednesday, the American officials are still gathering facts and working to ensure Private King's well-being to get him home and his family. Mr. Miller said American military officials reached out to North Korea military on Tuesday, but have not given response. What happened at the border? Private King was at the border with other tourists and bolted across while they watched, according to witnesses' accounts in local and international news reports. According to one account, unarmed soldiers guarding the tour were unable to catch him as he ran into North Korea. And you don't want to cross that border. You don't want to fall into North Korea and then start fighting people on the DMZ line. 
you want to just like, once he crosses, you're like, well, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to start, a, uh, I'm not blowing up a ceasefire. I'm not going to start this, this powder keg. The last time he was seen, he was taken into custody by North Korean soldiers. No shit. I'm surprised people didn't get video of it. You know, like they just see him running and somebody goes, oh, instead of a photo, whoop, I'm going to take a video of this, upload it to Snapchats, Instagrizzles, whatever. Oh, here we go. This is, I heard this too. There we go. I, I said this earlier. Taking the custody of North Korea. To our right, we heard a loud ha ha ha. <laughs> it's like he's a ha ha ha. Cockbag. Surprise, cockbag. Ha ha ha. Surprise, cockbag. I'm in North Korea now. See? Meow. See? Meow. You're not going to get me, coppers. You're not going to get me, you had troops. You're not going to get me, Sergeant Major of the Army. I'm in North Korea. See? Meow. Ha 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 ha. Meow. Uh. To our right, we hear a loud ha ha ha, and one guy from our group that has been with us all day runs in between two of the buildings and over the other side. A fellow tourist wrote on Facebook, according to NK News, it took everybody a second to react and grasp what had actually happened. Another tourist, Sarah Leslie, told New Zealand's news that when Private King dashed toward the border, she thought he was doing it for a TikTok video. <sighs> Could you imagine some dumb, spoiled, not millennial, what do they got, like, What's it, what's it now? Zoomers? No. What's the new generation now? <clears throat> what's the new generation called now? Tay. Tay. Tay! What, what's the new generation called? What's the, what's the most recent generation that's like Gen Z? Fucking Gen Zers. Yeah, Zoomers, right? Yeah, Zoom, Zoomers. Zoomers are yeah, Zoomers are acting just like boomers. This freaking Zoomers, everybody's like, Gen Z, Zoomer. Why didn't I just ask the chat? God, I'm stupid. If, could you imagine some Zoomer just going like, I'm going to do this for the clout, for the likes. I'm in North Korea, guys. You know. Hey, guys, I'm here in North Korea. <laughs> Isn't this great? Guys, why are you attacking me? Why are you rolling me? It's just a prank. It's just a prank. But, oh, my God. You could, I, I could just see it. People yelling, it's just a prank as they're drag drug further into North Korea and put in some salt mine. I mean, I'd be very sorry to see that. It would be unfortunate. But if some idiot actually did that, I would guffaw. I would laugh so hard. It would be a knee slapper. So I noticed a guy running, dressed in black. What looked like full gas. Oh, that's a good term. What looked like full gas towards North Korean side. Oh, that's good. I'm going to use that. He, he was running like full. He was on full gas. What looked like full gas he was running. Towards the North Korean side, she said, my first thought was that what an absolute idiot. There's good people in this world. There's good people in this world that know what the right thing to think is. What an absolute idiot. And she, she couldn't be more right. He just kept going and didn't stop, she added. Eventually, soldiers realized what was happening and chased after him, but to no avail, according to witnesses. The tour was cut short. The rest of the group was quickly shuffled into a building. Everyone was kind of flipping their lid. And once we got in the building, it was kind of like, oh my God, Miss Leslie said. Mr. King's mother told ABC she last heard from her son a few days ago when he told her he would return to his, but uh, a few days ago when he told her he would return soon to his base in Fort Bliss. I can't see Travis doing anything like that. Claudine Gates of Racine, Wisconsin told the news outlet. Claudine, I'm sorry. Your son's an idiot. You, unfortunately, raised an idiot. Now, I'm sure that you realized that your son is an idiot. Perhaps you were blinded by your love for your son, as you are his mother, and probably found positive things uh, regarding, you know, just him. Because, you know, you made him. So you're kind of like, hey, he's not that bad. Hey, he's that bad. He is mentally defective. Uh, his brain don't work no more. He got poo-poo in his dome piece. The space between his ears is empty. Whenever a wind blows against the side of his head, you can hear it whistle and see directly through his ears. There is nothing between his ears. It's, 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 there's nothing between his temples. His noodle is dry. All right. His garbage is packed. It's thrown out. It's already in the bin. It's gone. They picked it up. They ran with it. They took the garbage can with it, too. There's nothing in there. His brain is goop. I can't see Travis doing anything like that. Really? You, who, who thought that this week their kid was, <laughs> what kind of parent goes, 
You know, Barbara, I don't think that we should let little Jimmy go to the DMZ. But honey, why? Why don't you think that? Well, Barbara, I think that that idiot's going to run across the border and go right to North Korea. I think he would do that. Samuel, no. He wouldn't do that. He's, he's my baby boy. He wouldn't do that. No, oh, Barb, Barb, I think that kid, I think that kid has got a head full of rocks. I think he's going to, I think he's going to scoot over the border. Th those conversations don't happen at, at normal. Who, I don't see him doing anything like that. No shit, Claudine. Nobody thought anybody would be that stupid. And yet your son surprised us all. I'm sorry for you, Claudine. Your son failed. He is a no-go at this station. Oh, Mr. Arbo says, somebody didn't watch Joe Rogan podcast with Yan Mi Park in it. Oh, that's right. She escaped from uh, North Korea. That poor girl. I still can't get over Adam's uh, line where he says that their version of a chain gang is putting a wire through your collarbone and attaching you to a bunch of people. I would Google that, but I'm hesitant. Oh. All right, let's continue with this article. Oh, look, it's the first U.S. president that met with Kim Jong-un. The, or it's the first U.S. president that's ever met with the, I guess, dictator, communist head of state, communist head of state. What, 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 what would that be called? Because they consider them gods, right? They're, they're not deities. They're, oh, there's like a term for that where they, like the Egyptians, where they thought that their leaders were gods or God sent, God chosen. I forget. What is Ben Munjam? Ben Mujam is an 800 by 400 yard enclave inside a 2.5 mile wide DMZ, which divides the two Koreas. The DMZ was created as a buffer between the rival armies, and Punjaman has been their sole contact point since the armistice. That's what it was. An armistice was signed to suspend the Korean War 70 years ago. Originally, there was no dividing line inside Panjunman, Pen, Pen Mujam. And officials and soldiers from both sides could move between borders freely. But when North Korean soldiers murdered two U.S. soldiers in Panmunjom in 1976, a demarcation line, a thin slab of concrete, was installed to separate the two, uh, the two sides. Yes, the, um, there was like, it was like a war over a, a tree. There was like, they were cutting down branches of a tree. This, the U.S. cats and South Korean cats were. And then the North Korean cats came down with axe handles and beat two U.S. Army soldiers to death. Bummer. He went to North Korea because that's where the money's at, dude. Originally, there was no dividing line. And so, okay, there we go. We separate your sides. Kim Jong-un. There we go. Confirmed. Good job, chat. You confirmed that it was Kim Jong-un for me. Who are the other Americans who've been held by North Korea? Oh, I don't know who that guy is. Probably a soldier. No American detained by North Korea has ever entered the country through the joint security area. This private king did on Tuesday. Interesting. He's a first. Good job, buddy. You are the first one. I'm. You, you got the Guinness World Book of Records there uh, for something that nobody wanted. North Korea is commonly described as the world's most isolated nation and a totalitarian police state that regularly threatens nuclear war with the United States. It's been accused of kidnapping foreigners and running a network of prison camps. Still, the North has attracted many Americans, a score of whom have ended up in detention there in recent decades over the past. Over the post-war years, several American soldiers went AWOL from their bases in South Korea and walked across the heavily armed DMZ. The most well-known example of that was Charles Robert Jenkins, an Army sergeant who defected North Korea in 1965 to avoid combat duty in Vietnam. Ugh. Jenkins was allowed to leave North Korea in 2004. Is that him? Jenkins. Arriving in an American base in Japan in 2004. Defected North Korea in 1965 to avoid the combat in Vietnam. What a piece of shit. Ew. Ew. Everybody look at that man. Ew. Gross. Ew. All right. Uh, boo that man. Boo! Okay. In the North, he said he taught English to North Korean military cadets. I wonder what they were going to use that for. Not spying on us, right? Thanks for helping out the other side, dickhead. And appeared in anti-American propaganda leaflets and films. No shit. Saying so, some American tourists who have traveled to North Korea to get a glimpse of one of the world's last remaining socialist holdouts have been detained there. 2013, 
Harold Edward Newman, an American retiree, was released after being held for 42 days. Otto Warmbier, university student, was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor, where he was convicted on charges of trying to steal propaganda poster in Pyongyang Hotel. 2017, he was flown home across comatose, flown home comatose after 17 months of activity and died soon afterwards. Yeah, that was disgusting. If you actually read the story of, um, of Otto, it's really bad. It's, it's disgusting, if I'm not mistaken, I think. At the time, President Trump went to visit him and his family and just saw the devastation and how this kid was just tortured into oblivion. He just couldn't. That was it. Some Christian evangelists have also ended up detained in North Korea. Robert Park, a Korean-American missionary from Los Angeles, walked in North Korea from China on Christmas Day in 2009, holding a Bible and shouting, Jesus of North Korea. Oh, no. Mr. Park was held there for 43 days before he was released and expelled from the country. Dude, you're lucky that's it, man. They don't have a religion there. It's just... Kim Jong-un, he is their god. He is God sent, and that is it. You're lucky you didn't die. The power of Christ probably compelled them. Uh, is it easy to get a tour of Pan Moon Jam? I, keep, I can't say it fast. I have to read it and then say it fast. Pan Moon Jam. Joining a Pan Moon Jam tour requires approval from the American Latin United Nations Command. How did he get approval? He just snuck in? Uh, which oversees the southern part of the zone while the North Korean People's Army oversees the north. Approval can take days and requires visitors to provide their passport information. From Panjim Katuris can be a gigantic flagpole in North Korea erected in a propaganda war where the south over which side could raise the highest flag. Ooh. Hi, tour. Our three blue structures for meetings between envoys and other officials at the center of Punjab, Pan Punjab. Tourists are allowed to enter the central structure known as T2 where they can step into North Korean territory across the demarcation line. It's the only spot in the DMZ where tourists can legally step into North Korea soil. Private King made his dash in North Korea between the two buildings. That was next. That is a good question. What happens next? Soldiers' fate will largely depend on whether North Korea, which has yet to, com to comment on this case, will treat him as a defector or an illegal trespasser. Hmm, what are your bets? Do you think that they'll treat him as a defector or an illegal trespasser? I think a defector is far more positive to them, right? They're going to say he defected. He didn't like the United States. He was being abused by the capitalist system. Our military's poop. They'll, they'll say something like that. And he wanted to come join the better North Korean side. That's what I assume that they would twist this into a... He was intentionally defecting from his horrible treatment and is an illegal trespasser. Ooh, somebody said invader in the chat. Oh, I just, I just barely caught it. They said invader. <gasps> Do you think that they would turn that into like some sort of war drum thing? He invaded us. This is just a secret ploy of the United States to send spies into uh, North Korea. Look at the Americans. They're all felons, beaters, lawbreakers, etc. They're coming in here trying to invade. This is a secret mission. That could be. That could be. I like option C. It's option like A is defector. B is illegal trespasser. Eh, maybe. And D is spy. Now, if he's a spy, that's, I see if he's a spy, that's brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. As a defector, that means he's, a military operative, right? He he falls under the code of um, the Geneva Codes, right? He has to be treated in a certain way. And I mean, they're a communist state that doesn't give a shit about the world. I'm sure they could give two flying fucks about whether or not they treat him appropriately, right? But he would fall under like a different type of guideline if he was a, a captured soldier, right? So if he's a spy, he might fall underneath some other thing. Oh, I wish somebody in the chat would tell me there's, there's like certain rules for military members and certain rules for spies. And I remember Russia uses this a lot. Russia will say that somebody is a spy, therefore they don't get the, the same treatment as a uniformed military member. Uh, like you could just, like, oh, you're a spy. We're, we're just going to execute you. Ah, agua. So yeah, defector, yes. Illegal trespasser. Mm. I feel like Defector's better. He left intentionally. He hates his military and his country, just like us. Yay, America is falling apart. Look at them. Bah. Good for propaganda. Illegal trespasser. Uh, it, it doesn't have the same flair, right? It, I don't think it, it, it doesn't have like the same panache as Defector does. 
And then that other one, like the spy, he's coming in here as an infiltrator. He's a spy. It was a failed infiltration attempt, and we thwarted it. And then they say, we, we, then he defected. He admitted he was a spy, and then he came to us and says, see, saw how great it was, right? Maybe a combination of the two. Uh-huh. Maybe a combination of the two. Uh, defector would not, would, a defector would be allowed to live in the North. Do you, like a summer home? Like they're going to give him a Winnebago and let him, <laughs> let him travel? Just zipping up and down the coast of North Korea. A defector would be allowed to live in the North. Dude, this guy, this guy, he sealed his fate. He's either going to be a spy in prison or he is going to be a permanent tourist that will not be allowed to leave, that they will parade around. They might treat him good. You know, to use him as that. It, oh. A defector will be allowed to live in the North. Interesting. But those accused of entering the country illegally have often been used as bargaining tools. See, okay. I would say not the illegal trespasser, but the spy, potentially for that, right? For the past few years, I mean, he is in the military still, so maybe the spy thing, maybe the, that option is out. Well, we'll see. Does North Korea take ACFT or APFT? No. They could label him as an illegal immigrant and give him a house, free health care, and just let him wander around on his own. Oh, wait, that's the U.S., says Peanut. For the past few years, North Korea has not responded to repeated calls for dialogue from Washington. But he talked to Trump. Why won't he talk to President Biden? Uh, the United States has no embassy in Pyongyang. No shit. It relies on the Swedish embassy to help protect the interests of Americans held there. Is this, man, the Swedes are everywhere. How did they do it? They're just so neutral. Everybody goes, well, we're going to need somebody to smuggle the gold out. And they, just, they let the Swedes have it. Private King, you flipping moron. You just, you had to do it, man. You had to do possibly the dumbest thing. I wonder what, what the, the side effects, the, the after effects of him running from the gate that he was supposed to, running from the airport and then, and then fleeing into North Korea are going to be, right? There's going to be side effects. Like, it, it's the first time it's happened. Since, like they said, the, the 80s, so 40 years, 40 years since somebody's defected and ran across the border. And I bet you some lieutenant colonel or some fucking one star is going to shit their pants and be like, we have to take everybody and put a big tattoo on their forehead and bring them in shackles to the airport. They're going to change their entire thing because of this one flipping idiot. Because if it happens again, they're going to be like, well, look, you, you could have prepared for it. This happened in the past. Dude, shit like this is never, never going to happen. Not, not often enough to actually create some sort of plan for it. How many people? He went to North Korea. I just, of all, North Korea? You, you could have landed in Texas and went to Mexico, you dumb fuck. You could have went to Mexico. Everybody speaks English. Well, not everybody speaks English. But there's enough English speakers there that you could at least get by. I mean, you already probably know a little bit of Spanish. No habla inglés, you know. Por favor. Uh, Donde esta? Fill in the blank. Me uh, amo es. Te amo. Y tú? Like, just pesos? You, you can, I could barely, I can get by on broken Spanish. My understanding is a little bit better than my language, but I could get by. And I have very limited Spanish vocabulary. Like, I have to think about what I'm going to say before I say it, unless it's, you know, a very simple phrase. How many weekend safety briefings tomorrow will be? Hey, guys, don't run into North Korea. <laughs> so many. So many. High-ranking officers are crapping their pants right now. Oh, yeah. Who wants to get a raiding party together and snatch him up and leave him on the CO's hooch doorstep? I love it. Could be fun. Could be fun. Could be fun. Why didn't he go to Mexico? You would have landed in Fort Bliss, Texas. 
You could have went to California and then down to the Baja Peninsula. You could be living in, uh, in Mexico. Big Latin ladies, thick, delicious foods. Ugh. You could have been in paradise in Costa Rica doing buckets of blow and just living off of, I don't know, like $20 a week sent down there from your family. And like met him in Cancun on the summer. Oh, mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm exiled to Mexico. But I'm going to see you in Cancun Coon in November. Blah, blah, blah. You went to North Korea, where if you look at it from space during the nighttime, there's like three light bulbs on. And it gets cold there. I'm talking about cold there. Cold. Cold to the bone. Stay outside for a couple hours too long. They take a hatchet and just crack your leg like an icicle. Like that, like that movie, The, the Train, where, uh, where they stuck the one guy's arm out. It was a movie, something train. You know, where they were like in the back of it and they had to make their way forward. And the guy that played Captain America was, was in it. My God. Mexico. Th if this... If he would have sat and thought for more than one second and said, I'm going to go right to North Korea. I can get out of here right now. He could have landed in Texas, changed his uniform, walked by security, and I'm sure whoever was supposed to pick him up there got an Uber to fucking Juarez. Or uh, what's the... Yeah, Juarez. Mexico, North Korea. And this idiot said... North Korea. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely North Korea. Who wants tacos? I want rat shit and rice for the rest of my life. That'd be great. I hope that I can starve like the rest of the people here. What an idiot. That just that blows my mind. I can't get over that he could have went to Mexico instead of that. Fuck Canada. You could have went to Canada. I mean, they might have they might have brought you back, but in Mexico they're not looking for you. Mexico they're not giving a shit. You gotta do is pay off the police. Oh yeah, here's twenty dollars, man. Yeah, you, you, you got me. Whatever. In a week, we're gonna see him. Army Spud says, in a week, we're gonna see him and Kim Jong Un bounding in a tank, listening to Katy Perry's firework. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Can Joe Biden trade him for a WNBA basketball? Says DJ Beaver. Pat McNeely says, if you want an uplifting, but still sad story, the Fort Drum private that, was, that committed murder over a car was found guilty earlier this month, sentencing in August. He had 320 pieces of evidence against him, too. I mean, the more evidence, yeah, that's going to happen. I, have no, I had no idea about that story. And something about, like, talking about how soldiers are just, like, executing people, or, I was going to say executing, that's a little over the top, but murdering is, like, not something I want to bring up. We've already got morons that are jumping the freaking bus into North Korea, making us look bad. We don't know if some psycho that's slitting his wife's throat in Fort Drum making us look even worse. I give it to Mexico or North Korea. And he goes, definitely North Korea. Yeah, absolutely. Give me that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the amount of pinup models, you know, they like government calendars and OnlyFans girls that come from North Korea. Pfft. Tons, man. Tons. You got, brother, you got a pound bag of rice, man. They look at you different in North Korea, man. They don't look at you like that in fucking Mexico. We get a bag of rice, who gives a shit, man? You got some oranges, you got some apples. That would, nothing really impresses them anymore, right? But North Korea, you got a couple cans of sardines. You are king for a week. Well, they're hovering around you. Those, these babes, these babes love it. Yeah, it could have went anywhere. Texas Army National Guard would have stopped him from crossing, by the way. <laughs> Shout out for Operation Lone Star. Uh, the food, yeah, I agree, Conley. I agree. The food alone should have been Mexico. Like, what are you doing to get a job? To get, what are you going to get in North Korea for food? Porridge? Just go to Juarez, get some tacos and hot chicks, right? That's what I said. He's going to be a special guest in whoever state sponsored news channel North Korea has. Yep. 
He ruined his chances of getting a Charger or a Challenger back in the States. He could get a Chinese knockoff, a North Korean knockoff Challenger. I wonder what that would be called. Oh, it, mm, a Challenger? Ah, Hans Bricks. I just imagine like the uh, the guy from China, City Walk, Shitty Walk, um, on South Park. I'm like, ah, oh, you can't welcome in there. Like when they did Kim Jong Un, when they did the uh, uh, Team America. Uh, Team America World Police? Is that what it was? Team America World Police? And they're like, oh, no, guys, I'm Kim Jong-il, man. Come here. So, Ron, me. Oh, you want a challenger, real friend? Okay. Why don't you wreck me, Hunch Bricks? Oh, that, that video, that movie was so funny. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's, let's go to Twitter. Let's see if anybody's got some stuff on Twitter. Boom, boom, boom. Let's, uh, trending. What's trending? Brittany? Oh, God. Bud Light is still trending? My gosh. Sarah says that on average, North Koreans are three inches shorter than South Koreans due to better food and no famines. Yes. Malnutrition. Barbie, Oppenheimer, Codex, Spider-Man, Two, Strong, Strowman, Princess Diana. All right, let's let's look for North Korea. Let's see what North Korea is doing. We we know what North Korea is doing. Da da. Still haven't responded. Oh, that's, I wrote that. Yeah, North Korea is a dictatorship where people are forced to push trains or executed for having the wrong haircut. North Korea. Hi guys. But this guy's. I'm not saying that North Korea is just everybody getting executed. Like, sure, they have a water park, right? But what percentage of the people are allowed to go to that water park if he's even in North Korea? I don't even know if he's in North Korea, but these, some of these Europeans, because uh, Kim Jong-un was educated in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. Some of these people that, like, go places, he's not in, he's not in North Korea. I don't know where he is. I don't, I don't even know why I'm listening to this. Bam, 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 bam. North Korea, English, an English translation. Interesting. He will be hills, Travis King thing. He assaults Koreans, goes uh, on a racist rant against Koreans while in custody, and he decides to cross North Korea. Whatever punishment space he goes to be pale in comparison to what he's about to endure. He's absolutely right. <laughs> Socialize. <laughs> oh, you're a socialist? Socialize with some bitches. Korea. This one goes after North Korea. Instead of socializing, starving on people in the country. Why don't you socialize in the country? Come on, North Korea. Look at me dead in the eyes, North Korea. Kim Jong Un. Look at your soul, Kim Jong Un. Socialize yourself hard, North Korea. Socialize yourself so soul, North Korea. North Korea, I need you. I need you to socialize. Oh my God, I gotta, hold on. Hold on, I gotta, I'm gonna keep having this girl. I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this right now. We're about to do something stupid. All right, that's a little bit. I need you to listen to me, North Korea. Kim Jong Un, I need you to look inside your heart, your tiny, cold, socialist heart. I need you to grow that heart two times two more today, just like the Grinch baby. I need you to get bigger and grander to the scale that you need to be, and I need you to let that. Stupid special dragon, that stupid dragon. Come on back down. Back down to South Korea. You're gonna let these sick beats change your mind.
It's this. Come on, Kim. That little beat there, right? That, that little thing. I just want to put that in repeat and just, just keep singing sweet nothings to Kim. My sweet, sweet baby Kim. My sweet Kim. My sweet, sweet Kim. You need to live there, baby gal. Come on, Kim. You need to let eat that little private. He's just a good boy. Okay, he's a little slow. Okay. He's that little private. Just a little bit slow, Kim. Okay. You need to let him back on over to the United States side. He, he, he got bless his heart. He decided he was going to run across that line. So fast. Look at this. Look at this face on this young man. Oh, God. He is just a young man. He is confused about life. He was scared after beating up that one South Korean man and going into South Korean jail. Then he got a little bit, you know, a little bitty butt hurt. Instead of flying back to Texas, he just ran across that invisible line between you and North, you and South Korea. Sometimes I forget that there's a North and a South. I just think that there's one Korea. I know. But you can't help him from making that type of mistake. You just need to let him back. You need to open up your whore and let him back in over side to the to the South Korean side. Oh, there's that special little boy. There's that special little boy, my little Travis King right there. He is so oh, he is so innocent. He's just sitting there in a group of people just waiting to make that run across to the north. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> north Korea is the perfect place for him. Yeah, you know, sometimes stupid fixes itself, doesn't it? Sometimes stupid just fixes itself. Somebody goes, I've been drinking again. <laughs> I'm drinking water right now. I just can't help it when I hear that sick beat. Kieran? Kieran? Yaren asked if I've seen Sound of Freedom yet. I haven't. I haven't yet. I kind of. I want. I want to see it. I've heard good things. I've heard weird things. AC invents APFT. Army in Army Funkadelic Fitness Test. <laughs> yes, outstanding. Check out the story of soldiers Drenos, a membership who defected North Korea and were tortured, then turned into movie stars to spread North Korea propaganda. Let's check that out. Oh, let's see it. Um, bum, 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 we're gonna go to... Let's see. Watch is gonna be some stupid porn thing. What happened to US soldiers who dress knock and three fellow Americans million defectors, including Jack? Oh, let's go to Reuters. Let's go to Reuters. Let's see what happens. Let's let's learn about the previous defectors that went down to South Korea or North Korea. Went up to North Korea. Mm, thank you, Reuters. Thank you. Please go away. Oh God. Reuters, what are we gonna do here? How do I get rid of this? How do I get how do I get rid of that? I can't get rid of that. North Korea news? What is this? What? The other American soldiers who defected. There have been five originally six years defections. Let's let's go. Yeah, this guy, Joe Dresnock, he's he's the guy that I talked about earlier who's got like the busted ass teeth, and he's the only fat person in North Korea besides Kim Jong un. Past defectors fled punishment similar to recent border crossing near and their fates may reflect this. Trips King made headlines, we already know, but King, private second class in his army, is far from North American soldier. There have been five, potentially six, the most famous being James Joseph Dresnock and Charles Robert Jenkins. Well, details about King are still emerging. Okay, let's see this. Joe Dresnock on the left. Left as the villain in episode 14 of North Korean propaganda film Unsung Heroes. Interesting. Oh, they used him in a propaganda film. Say, I'm um, uh, does not grind South Korea is extremely bitter in a recent divorce when he had remained faithful to his wife while serving in West Germany. He told him on his return to the U.S. she was even for another man. Oh, he got jodied. Oh, no. You got jodied? Dresnock, you got jodied? You stupid fucking private. You got jodied and then ran to North Korea? I respect you so less. Like, I thought I already didn't like you for being, like, just the jizziest turd ever. What a jizz. And now 
You, I left South Korea because my girlfriend made me sad. Boo, 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 boo. What a chode. Your girlfriend left you. Yeah, I can't blame her for leaving you. You make bad decisions, homie. It wasn't long after leaving Peninsula Drugs, I became a freaking patron for local brothels. Yeah. Get a Korean Korea, man. Uh, that's where all my money went. No wonder she fucking left you. It wasn't long after having the Peninsula Drugs, I became a uh, find myself facing court martial's post, signature standard permission to say nearby village. What am I? Am I a slave? The hell with this. You're not a slave, dude. You're a fucking shitbag. You left and and then you you got yelled at for not doing a good job, and then you got screw you. There's only one place to go, you can click. Yeah, there's only one. Up obviously. Court martial them or kick him out of the army in nineteen sixty five. Those who join Jerry Parrish, Charles Jenkins, these defectors are huge propaganda women from North Korea. They claim four American soldiers have banned the hellish capitalist ways. Yep, see this is what I imagine they're gonna be doing with the young man, um, Tyler, what's his dumb face? Trust me, never regretted coming to the Democrat. Okay, whatever. But while he may have eventually adjusted to life in North Korea, it seems that it was not as rosy. Initially, seemed no shit. It was a little uncomfortable. Different race, a different color, different customs, different ideology, and it's a war try to escape. Collectively seeking asylum in the Soviet embassy, hoping that because there were white people too, they went over there. They tried to escape. The four tried to escape. They went to North Korea and then tried to escape. You fucking morons. Oh, you know, it's going to be that simple, huh? You're a fucking jizz. America designed to sell their fates. They weren't going to be leaving North Korea. No shit. The reluctant kind was so ignorant. Jenkins reflected years. Did not understand the country I was seeking. Temporary refuge was a literally giant, demented prison. Oh, <laughs> look where our buddy's going. A giant demented prison once someone goes there they're almost never they almost never get out no shit americans spend much of their years in self-criticism sessions as as being forced to study the minimally boring teachings of kim il sung for over 10 hours a day oh my gosh as a reward they granted american citizenship if they refused north korean cattery told them you won't be here tomorrow <laughs> You fucking morons! They went to North Korea, and in 1972, how long were they there for? What's it? 1972, 1966, before tried to escape. 1965, the two were also joined by Parrish and Charles Jenkins. Okay, 1965, they flee to North Korea because they're stupid, and they think it's not going to be so bad. And then they realize it's a giant demented prison, and in 1972, they... They finally get rewarded for studying 10 hours a day. Where is it? Kim Il-sung's boring teaching for 10 hours a day. After 10 hours a day for seven years, defecting in there. And after, I think, what they say? Did they try to escape, they said? Or try to escape? And after an, an escape attempt, after being there for one year, they're rewarded by getting citizenship to North Korea. If they refused, a North Korean cadre told them, you won't be here tomorrow. Wah. Wah. Uh, North Korea provided the Americans with personal cooks. They're apparently do all the tasks that a wife should do for men. All of the tasks? Yeah. Well, I guess that hooker lover Jenkins or Dabba 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 Dabba. That first guy, that dumbass. I guess that'll be good for him. When refused the cadre ordered... Oh, check and said the one North Korean cadre actually took issue with him for refusing to have sex with his cook. Oh my God. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's your answer. Uh, the wife's good. They keep an eye on them, but without the risk of them becoming pregnant. But without the risk of them becoming pregnant and polluting the North Korean gene pool as their husbands had already divorced them for infertility. Ew. You just took women that couldn't have children? Which I'm... With their medical standards, I'm sure that that's actually quite a few. I'm sure they could have assisted them in that, but they're just, their technology ain't there because they're North Korea, the hermit country. Jenkins said the North Korean cadre actually took issue with him for refusing to have sex with his cook, ordering the Americans to do so at least twice a month. What happened if they actually got pregnant? Oh, I bet it doesn't say. I wonder if that happened. Oh, they probably killed that poor baby. No. When he refused the catering order, Dansk was much bigger than Jenkins to beat him for his insolence. <laughs> Idiots. Idiots. 
That was the first. This was the first of approximately 30 similar beatings they received over the next 70 years at the hands of Dresnok, Jenkins said. Oh, my God, Dresnok is such a piece of shit. They encouraged us all to tell on each other if one of us broke the rules, promising us rewards or preferential treatment. In exchange, we would get lighter work details, better rations, and an extra trip to town. As it turns out, not all the cooks were infertile. Oh, no, man, I'm answering my questions before I even read the gosh dang thing. As it turned out, not all the cooks were infertile. Ab Shears cook disappeared after she became pregnant. Oh, no. Oh. Now, whose fault is that, right? Is it North Korea's fault? Definitely. Is it potentially his fault? Because since he got over there and they had to give him a little wife to take care of him, that what now that when she became a sex slave, basically, she got pregnant and now she's dead, gone, whatever. Oh, that's partially your fault, my guy. Following this incident, North Korea tried to set the Americans up with foreign women, many of whom were apparently kidnapped from abroad. Great, more sex slaves. Right, great. This, this is North Korea. This is what Travis Tyler, was his fucking name again? What's his dipshit's name? Travis. Travis King. That's, this is what Travis King decided to go into. He decided to go into a country that literally uses its own populace as sex slaves. Disgusting. Jenkins met his wife, a Japanese abductee. Oh, his wife? Not... Okay, we'll go with wife. That's, that's a more PG version of what she was. I met his wife, a Japanese ab abductee. An abductee! Oh, an abductee! Wow, I'm sure she really chose to be your wife after being abducted. Oh, my gosh. In 1980, the two married a few months later and had two daughters. Those poor kids. Don't the Koreans hate the Japanese, too? Oh, I mean, she was abducted. Oh, God. This is disgusting. Jenkins was convinced that North Korea later insisted on sending his mixed-race children to foreign language schools so they could be raised as spies that could infiltrate enemy societies. He cited the case of Kim Hwan... Kim Hyun... Why? The North Korean spy who pretended to be a Japanese tourist when she hit a bomb in Korean Airlines flight, killing all 15, 115 on board. Kim was reportedly trained to speak Japanese by another abductee. Oh, I knew they didn't like the Japanese. 2002, North Korea actually sent some of the abductees, including Soga, to Japan in an attempt to improve relations with Tokyo. Jenkins was able to join his wife in 2004. This makes Jenkins the only former American soldier to make it out of the DPRK. Abshir died in 1983, Paris 1998, Dresdok and Jenkins in 2017. Another American soldier, Joseph White, also defected to Korea in 1982. However, Jenkins had said he never met him. And White reportedly drowned in 85. All by himself? North Korea claimed... Oh, look at that fucking face. Somebody made a mistake. Boo, boo, bee, boo. Idiots. Idiots. If you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat them. I only knew of one. I only knew of the Dresnok guy, that big, fat fucking chode. North Korea claimed that Roy Chung, a South Korean immigrant who joined the U.S. Army before going missing in West Germany, defected in 1979 while his family maintained he was abducted. It's believed he died around 2004. Dude, they fucking stole a United States Army soldier? I wonder what we're doing to them. You know what I mean? Like, if they're sneaking across the borders and, like, abducting people, and we obviously know about this, like, this is a story. This is, you know, this is public knowledge. The government knows about it. Sure, like, hold on. I'm sure whatever CIA spook or cat or division that's focused on the... Uh, the East, you know, the Asian population, you know, the Koreas, the uh, Burma, etc. I wonder if they know about any wet operations that are going around and sniping North Koreans if they're taking troops. Oh my gosh, I would have. Oh, uh, fucking. That doesn't boil your 
fucking blood. All right. While facts are still emerging about the border crossing on Tuesday, a 23-year-old enters uh, Pyongyang. I want to keep King to draw attention to that dude. If they, if they're going to keep him, he's not going to go any fucking where. They didn't let anybody go. Kim, Kim Jong-un is going to do what his daddy and granddaddy did and keep this cat there forever. Oh, you decided to leave the United States? Oh, you didn't want to be there anymore? You thought that this would be a better place? Sweet, it is a better place because you're never going to go. We're never going to let you go because if you go, people are going to think potentially that you didn't like it here. And since you love it here, you fucking love it here. You're never going to leave because you love it here because you fucking love it here. Oh, man. Your propaganda strategy has also changed even since those U.S. servermen defected. Pyongyang glossed over redefections from South Korea. Possibly because it judged that such cases have lost their propaganda value, but also because it doesn't want to encourage more defections. Interesting. Out of fear they could bring COVID-19 to the country. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's over. Dellenfeld, I want to see Drill Sergeant Rock and five stars called General Standards. I like it. General Standards. Just This is General Standards. Charles King. Charles against King for physical assault in the country. Oh, charges. Charges. I saw this in my freaking, what do we call it? Stylus, the finger thing. What do we call it? This thing. Whatever. The thing that highlights shit. I thought it was an L. Knock Knock says in, he's in North, he's in Korea right now, obviously, South Korea. And I'm not excited for all these offset classes about to come out. <laughs> I think it's true. Uh, charges against King for physical assault and public property damage have also been reported in national media. So the BMA judge that he's an unsavory character who has little value of propaganda mouthpiece. That's true. Or, I mean, you could, you could change that. You could say that he was fighting against South Koreans and he knew that they were corrupt too. Like, and the police are corrupt there, not like North Korea. You know, they'll make up some bullshit. And even though North Korea was able to use their first Americans to achieve a significant propaganda win. The Gulf Police had had in dealing with them later means they may not plan on keeping King in the country forever. Such turncoats from the U.S. evil empire uh, the DPRK may have learned are more trouble to have in the country than they're worth. In the meantime, experiences of former American military defectors su suggest that King might soon come to realize what a terrible mistake he's made. And on that note, I think we're going to end tonight's stream. Ladies and gentlemen, check out angry-cops.com. Let's go there real quick. See, see what we got there. Check out angry-cops.com. We've got the brand new Ain't No Stitch in Blue Falcon shirt. You know who's a Blue Falcon? You are Travis. You are Travis King. You are a Blue Falcon. Don't be. Don't be Travis. Don't scoot over to the North Korean border. Get yourself one of these fantastic shirts. All right? Ain't No Stitch and don't be a Blue Falcon. Don't be snitching on your boys, right? Or, if you want, you can get a Caffeine and Hate Willby with a cool Caffeine and Hate symbol, the Angry Cops logo, 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 in I love the Woodland. I personally love the Woodland. I think Tiger Stripes is super cool. I think everybody's wearing it, though, now, so I kind of want to be cool and just go to the old school BDU, what I came in the United States Army with. Everybody was wearing it back then. Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, everybody, every single buddy. Had the BDUs and everybody loved them. Everybody loved them. And I love them too. So that's my favorite is the BDU one. But we've also got the Tiger Stripes for you old school cats. I mean, we're talking about Korea. You know, that's right next door is Vietnam. So that's when these things were handy. And then regular multicam. Uh, we're halfway done selling. I think we're, no, we're over halfway selling out of these. So I think I had 300 in stock a couple weeks ago. And we're down to like 80. It was like 120 last week, and now I think we're down to 80. So once these are gone, they're gone, baby. Once these are gone, they're gone. Go ahead and get them. Uh, they're super cool. I love them a lot. Check out grillyourassoff.com. Get yourself some. There we go. Check out grillyourassoff.com. Get yourself some better than crack seasoning. I love it for steak. It's the best on brisket. I absolutely love it on brisket. Uh, I'll put the link down below for grillyourassoff.com. And... Uh, also, I'll put the links out to the, st to the store so you can grab these freaking hoodies, whoobies, and all that other cool stuff. And on that note, I'll see you next time. Awesome.